6 o'clock, Fulton County is now considering consolidating all of its uh, clerks or its courts under one clerk to save the county some cash. Several judges say it would be a mistake, and now we are digging deeper into what it would mean for you. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates has the new story for us tonight. She's live from the Fulton County Courthouse. Bobeth? Well, Jennifer, one thing everyone agrees on is that there's a backlog of cases in the courts, but they don't all agree on why and if this change will help or hurt things. You go down, you file your eviction notice, and they tell you, we don't know when that person's going to get served and when you're going to actually go to court for it. Real estate investor Donald Jacobs is among those upset by the backlog of cases in Fulton County Magistrate Court. He says it's preventing him from evicting tenants who are not paying rent. We still had to pay the mortgage. A lot of investors lost their homes during that process. But it was just amazing to know that they could live in our houses for free and we didn't have, they didn't have to pay any rent. Right now, Superior and Magistrate Courts share the same clerk of court. But the county is considering consolidating state court under the same clerk, too. But Chief Magistrate Judge Cassandra Clerk worries that will only make the backlog of cases worse. I am disturbed by the proposition. She says the Magistrate Courts is not getting the assistance it needs as it is right now. Instead of simply coming into the courtroom, hearing the case, Case, now our judges are also serving as the person that is going to e-file that case afterwards. Our office has one person to e-file all of our orders. So when people say to me, your orders are behind, it's absolutely true because we do not have the staff to get it done. And during the commission meeting last week, one judge after another criticized the move. If you look at all of the organizational studies across the justice system in Fulton County that have been done, they have not said that you should consolidate the clerk function. I'm asking that you not proceed. It's unfair to the citizens, certainly unfair to the court. But the resolution before the commissioners outlined the consolidation of courts could eliminate duplications of infrastructure, personnel, training, processes, and functions. But Jacob worries about the real life implications if the change takes effect. Now the process is a little different. We filed an eviction, we don't know what's going to happen. So adding another court to the system is, I think, is just going to back it up even more. The measure was tabled in last week's commission meetings as commission staff determined the feasibility and the cost savings of this consolidation. In Atlanta, Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News.